But we made it back to Lake Havasu City. We began our journey back in 2021, and this is our first stop on the map. And I never thought I would be excited to come back to Havasu, but I really am. It was just so cold up north in like the Nevada area. Even California was pretty cold, so it feels good to be back in central Arizona. Remember the first time we came here? I was given notice by my employer that I had to report back into the office. So I just didn't really enjoy my time here in Lake Havasu City, but now I have a different mindset. It's beautiful here, much warmer, and pretty peaceful. There's great camping here in Lake Havasu City, but you have to pay 20 bucks. It's for state land. We're right now on state land and 20 bucks for 14 days. So it's not free, but it's pretty close to the lake. I mean, we have a nice view of the lake from here. And I would highly suggest this if you're ever wanting to come to Havasu. It's really nice. 20 bucks will get you a beautiful piece of land and a nice view. Right across from Sarah Park, a lot of stuff to do in this area. So many things on the south side of town. It's pretty cool. And you get a nice view of the lake from the distance. There are lots of outdoor activities to do in Lake Havasu, but the main attraction is the London Bridge. Walking north along Rotary Park Bridgewater Canal, the relocated London Bridge is a centerpiece of attraction for Lake Havasu City. A piece of history once spanning the Thames River in London, it was tagged, disassembled, and relocated here. Using the mantra, build it and they will come, was the selling point for making this small city possible. We are a few months behind on publishing this video, but we wanted to show you how magical the London Bridge is during the holidays. We were told by the bartender that there's a swimming race crossing the Coldwater Canal, and the winner gets to turn the holiday lights on for the season. We use this Lifesaver jerry can for filtering our main source of drinking water. We fill all of our water bottles up about three times a day, which is time consuming, but we've gotten used to it. We store our filtered water in the fridge so it's cold for drinking. The Lifesaver jerry can is a little pricey, but we're glad we bought it because it allows us to filter drinking water out of creeks, rivers, and lakes, as long as there's no mining runoff or oil. Yeah. Go ride in the cold. All right, so back out in Lake Havasu. Haven't ridden since that crash in Sedona, so finally getting back out here. I'm gonna do a short ride on trash can. Let's try the gnar.
Lake Havasu City has an impressive network of off-road trails in every direction outside the city. It's common to see a lot of side-by-sides, four-wheelers, dirt bikes, and Jeeps. We found a few trails we can map in our truck for Onyx Off-Road. We had a ton of fun wheeling through this rocky karst landscape.